Hi friends, my name is Akhil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial, we will see how to work with the date time functions in SQL Server. So the agenda of today's video tutorial is that how to store the date and date time in SQL Server in different formats and then how we can get the different parts of a date time like how we can get the day and month and year and like hour, minute and seconds. So without wasting further time, let's jump to the demo. So this is my SQL Server instance and to store the date and date time we have different type of data types in SQL Server. So for example if you just want to store the date then we got the date data type and similarly if you want to store the date along with the time then we got the date time uh, data type and similarly we got the date time too as well. So the difference between the date time to and the date is that if you look at the date time, okay, so the date time stores the dates ranging from 1753 till 9999, okay. Uh, so it stores some smaller range of dates. However, this date time to it stores a very large range of dates. Like it can store the dates starting from 0001 to 0101, okay, and till 9999 okay and if you look at the uh, second part so the date time it can stores the time until some milliseconds okay on the other hand uh, if you look at the date time too so it can store the seconds up to nanoseconds so the date time too can be more precise okay but if you can find with storing the date time till millisecond then you can use the date time and if you need to store the date time till nanosecond precision then you can use the date time too. Similarly we have the uh, date time offset as well ok. So like date time offset it can store the date along with the time like in hour, minutes, seconds, milliseconds. Then it can also store the offset information as well like, like how is your time according to the UTC time for example. India is uh, behind 5 hours and 30 seconds okay so you can check it on Google like uh, if you see uh, India UTC time so this is behind 5 hours and 30 seconds so we need to add 5 hours and 30 seconds to the UTC time okay so I will show you in a bit like uh, how it will show the data when you will try to search okay so let's try to create a table so let me show you like which method actually return the offset value so I can write like select sys date time offset okay so if you execute this one so this will return you the current year month day and then the time like hour minute second nanosecond and then plus 530 you know this one like I was talking about so this is the offset okay and if you want to get the time in the UTC then we can also get the time in the UTC format okay. So there are different methods to get the current date time, time in the offset and then get the UTC time as well ok. So let me do one thing, let me create a table with a column of date time, with a column of date time 2, with a column of date time offset and let's try to insert the data for all the current time ok. So that you can see like what is the difference between the different date time formats ok. And then we can finalize like which type of date time format. Uh, should be suitable for our condition ok. So I can create a table here create table and I can call it like date time 1 you know I can call anything id int identity and auto increment value will be inserted. So the first column will be the date column so I can call it like date and maybe I can uh, enclose it in the bracket so that I can create the column with this name and the data type will be date here ok. And the second column that I want to make is the date time. So I can enclose this in the bracket and I can paste it. And the next column I want to create is the date time 2. Okay. And uh, date time 2. And the next column, the last column is the date time offset. Okay. Date time offset. So let me create the table here, date time 1. Now let me insert the data with the current information. Select into date time 1. And the first column is the ID which is of identity so we don't need to provide any value for this one. Now the next column is the date column okay. 
so how we can get the date so there are some functions which can return the current date so i can use actually the get date function to return the current date okay so the get date will return the current date time so we can you know type cast it to into the date uh, data type so i can call it like cast get date as date so this will return you now the current date okay now we need the date time value so for the date time we can use the get date function here okay and for getting the date time to uh, we can use the sys date time okay and for getting the date time offset we can use the sys date time offset method here okay and i think we can also get the utc time as well so i can actually define a new column here utc date time so i can enclose this one in the bracket okay and i can copy this one and the data type will be uh, date time 2 okay so this is fine now so how i can get the utc time so there is a function sys utc date time okay so this will return the utc time so this is fine so let me first uh, drop this table and recreate the table so i can drop this table and now this table can be recreated now i can execute this particular query and the query ran fine so let me select the data now from the date time okay so if i run the query so this is the current date okay and this is the date time so if you see we got the current year month day and then the hour minute seconds and then the milliseconds and this is date time too so this is more precise so we got the nanoseconds as well and this is the date time offset value you know we got the nanoseconds plus the offset as well and this is the uh, date time too you know but with a utc time so if you see the time here so this is 23 27 however in the utc time it is 17 57 so this is uh, you know 5 hours and 30 seconds older time so this is in the utc format so there are different methods you know to get the time in the date time too so for to, for getting the time in the date time too we can use this particular method like select this one and to get the uh, date time offset in the date time too we can use this particular method okay and now to get the sys utc date in the date time too we can get the this particular method okay so these are the methods to get the date in the date time to format okay and now if you want to get the date in the date time format then we can use the get date method here select get date and it will return you the current date time and if you want to get the utc time in the date time format then we can use the get utc date okay and this will return you the utc date in the date time format instead of the date time too okay so this was about storing the data getting the data in different formats for the date or date time and storing in the database now suppose if you want to get a part of the uh, you know the date or date time suppose if you want to get the current year then how you can do that so there are different uh, functions here which one of the most important function is the date name function okay so we can use the date name function to get the year of current date okay so for example right now the year is 2023 so this will return you the year 2023 okay similarly if you want to get the month so you can pass the value as month here okay and this will return you the month here okay so this is returning the month in the string format okay and then if you want to get the uh, day so you can pass a value day here okay and this will return the value as 4 so that's fine today is 4th November and similarly if you want to get the like weekday what is the weekday so I can pass the value like weekday here and it will return like Saturday okay and similarly you can get like the hour minutes and seconds as well so we can pass the value like hour and it will return you the current hour like 23 right now and then the 
uh, minute so we can pass the value minute and it can return the minute to you and similarly we can pass the value second as well okay so these are some methods which you can use in your sql queries to get the current date time you know in smaller parts okay but if you see here for the month it is returning the data in the string format now suppose if you want the data in the integer format then how you can get that so there is a date part function actually so the date part function can return you the data in the integer format so instead of the date name we can use the date part so what i can do i can write like date part okay i can copy this one and paste this one okay so now if you check the uh, return from the date part so this is returning the correct 2023 now for the month instead of the value in the string format it will return you the number here okay so this is good and for the day i think it should be 4 so this is fine and for weekday this is 7 okay so it is returning you the number here and similarly for the hour it is 23 so i think this should be fine like 23 and the time like the minutes and the seconds so this is all integer like 8 okay so this is good so these are some you know functions which can uh, provide you the current year month and date okay and there are some three more functions which can actually give you the current year month and date and those are like year function so inside the year function you can pass the get date function and this will return you the current year okay similarly uh, there is a month function so which can uh, get you the current month and similarly there is a day function and which can return you the day of the month so like today is the 4th november so it is returning 4 the month is 11 and the year is 2023 so these are some date time functions which can be helpful in writing the sql queries and doing some calculations okay and probably i will make another video uh, with covering some more date time functions like how we can add a date to a particular date how we can subtract the date how we can add some hours minutes seconds okay so probably i will make a couple of more videos on the date time functions so you can download the script that i used here from the description of the video and if you got any question then you can comment on the video and so i think that's it for today's video thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button do subscribe to our channel press the bell icon and click on also that you will be notified every time i upload a new video thank you so much